All right, the question of the day is, uh, it's an everybody question. How do you do a hammerhead? British call that a stall turn. And a bonanza. So stick with us on Flywire. Hey, I'm Scott Perdue, and today on Flywire, we're going to go out and we're going to fly a hammerhead, and we're going to do it in this aerobatic bonanza. This is an F-33C bonanza, and it's aerobatic. Don't try these kind of aerobatic maneuvers in your bonanza at home. Unless, of course, if you have, unless you have an E-33C or an F-33C. So there's a couple of other, that's one caveat. Uh, the other one is, is that, uh, you know, this is kind of a big airplane to be doing aerobatics in. <laughs> it's kind of heavy, and it's a four-seater. So uh, it's not small, it's not a super high performance airplane. Nice gentleman's kind of aerobatics. So how you do a uh, hammerhead, all right? So we don't quite do the uh, a loop, but what we do is we pull it up into the vertical. And the best way to do this is, uh, well, you want to be set, you don't want to be set left wing low or right wing uh, low. So you have to be able to look out both wing tips and see that you're vertical. You need a good horizon to do that and today's not great it's real kind of mist or kind of hazy out there so that's a factor but uh, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to pull it up into the vertical and we're going to look out uh, then we'll check our uh, attitude uh, respective to the vertical you know and do we have the wings set right okay now we're looking for speed and uh, what you want to do is you want to kick the left rudder it, because of the way the engine rotates in this airplane that's pretty much all I do I don't do uh, into it but uh, we're going to kick left rudder and as uh, uh, the speed that we're going to use that is just above the stall and it's really easy to tell in the steerman when you're getting ready to do that because you can actually see against the wings and the horizon if it's not real hazy you can see the speed start to slow off uh, slow down and then you can kick the rudder and it's going to be good so um, it's hard to tell in this airplane and I'm not looking for a grade so it doesn't have to be perfect. All I'm going to do is as I get down, it's probably going to be around 60-ish knots, maybe 65 or so, uh, I'm going to kick the left rudder. And what's probably going to want, the airplane's going to want to do is pitch over on its back when it does that so we have to use a little bit of forward stick and a little bit of right aileron to, uh, to try to keep it in plane there so it'll rotate in plane, not come over on its back. Uh, or even, you know, fall over on its nose this way. So real important we don't go over on our back because if we screw that up, we can get ourselves into an inverted spin. Good bad scale, that's bad. Uh, so anyway, that's how we start. And then we're going to continue to rotate the nose all the way down until it's pointed straight down. And then we're going to recover uh, from the dive. Okay, variations in that, we can do a quarter turn to change the plane of, that we're going to do our, our hammerhead in on the up. Uh, up line and then we can do the same thing on the down line how we recover or we can do a full roll you know however we want to do uh, to add stuff to that maneuver but that's the basic hammerhead and let's go check it out it's like the winds are slightly from the south Portland traffic red and white bonanza we're going to back taxi we're for a one seven Portland. and uh, that's a competition maneuver I'm not really doing that today so it won't be exactly perfect at 90 degrees and I'm going to kick it a little bit before the stall as well. You know, the, the <laughs> if you don't do it just perfectly and you botch it a little bit right there at the top, you get it into an inverted spin pretty easy. So I'm not really interested in that. I'm not doing this for grading. I'm not uh, worried about that. I'm just doing a hammerhead, and this is for fun. Part of my aerobatic checklist in this airplane is to turn the autopilot off. I got a trim for 140. Autopilot's off and fuel pressure is on low, or the fuel box pump is on low. The power set, fuel flow set. I'm not going to do this at, uh, I'm going to do this at aileron speed, about 140 knots. Again, I'm not looking for maximum penetration on this maneuver. All right, I see no traffic, and here we go. There's the vertical.
Center is vertical. Center is a pull out. Just about, eh, about 100 feet ish low. At five, not, not the right speed. When I take a look at this, uh, you know, I don't look at this in the air. You, know, you're lo you really don't have a chance to look and study at the attitude indicator. Um, it's all outside. I'm all looking outside, so I reference uh, the G and the speed, uh, etc., but not the actual attitude. So it's actually pretty instructive to take a look at this and see that I didn't. I was more positive than I thought to begin with, and this will really show it. When you look out there in the horizon, um, you know it's pretty indistinct. And uh, my alibi is I, I just I thought I was nearly vertical, but not quite, and uh, it turned out I was not even. Also, I didn't use enough right aileron. The unload was pretty good, but I didn't use enough right aileron, and that caused me to rotate a little bit, a little bit on the negative side. You can really see how positive it is right here. Um, and then without the right aileron putting me in plane, that makes it kind of uh, uh, sloppy. The really interesting thing about a uh, hammerhead is when you get it uh, nearly perfect, the airplane just kind of shudders and rotates around in plane. And, that's a pretty exciting uh, thing when you just kind of rotate uh, there at the edge of the stall, uh, slightly unloaded, and, uh, and, and head up and head downhill. That's pretty cool. So, this is a pretty good view right here. Uh, good, the wings have a pretty good reference, and uh, you can't really tell if it's vertical or not, but right there, you cut the horizon pretty, pretty good. But overall, hammerheads are fun. It's a learning experience. So there you have it, it's a hammerhead in the Bonanza. Um, I think I debriefed it pretty good there. <laughs> we were watching the uh, other cameras, so I'm not going to go over it too much in detail. But, you know, practice makes perfect, so keep practicing. It always helps to have a good horizon. Uh, that's my excuse, and I'm going to stick with it. But uh, anyway, don't do this at home in your Bonanza, please, or your Cherokee or your Warrior or or your Cessna or anything like that. Only in an aerobatic airplane, please. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. It looks a bit like this here. And if you'd like to support the channel, uh, I'll leave a link to my Patreon uh, page down below. And these are my supporters. I really, help, really appreciate you guys uh, supporting me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Flywire.